for the royal appointment. I'm not judging Camilla Tomini for completely phoning in the last two royal appointments. It is the holiday season. She also had family fly into town. There were some issues because the brand of blood that Count Chocula prefers was not in stock at Waitress. It's been tough. But the reason that I am connecting this to my previous post about Prince Andrew is because it's all about the Royal Christmas, which was a touching show of family unity. It's a theme we've seen again and again that the royals are unified in their reaction to Harry and Meghan, that King Charles and Prince William are in lockstep, despite the fact that Prince William keeps having things put out into the media about what a different king he's going to be to his father. So I'm not really sure how they're in lockstep. Endgame has a really good chapter on all of that. Emily is always at the heart of the so-called season of goodwill. I like the so-called season of goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> that was necessary, but okay. Also by family, we mean some of the family. Then there's this line, quote, the pair can often be found bantering together at family events when Mike takes great delight in taking the Mickey out of William's bald patch. Oh, <laughs> now it's okay. Apparently the prince gently teases Mike about his weight. Cool, it's 2023. Remember all those articles that came out after Harry wrote Spare about Harry poking fun at William, his brother, for his baldness while also going through baldness himself? Yeah, not given the same energy here. It is very clear that we are going to see a fab for 3.0? 4.0, I don't know where we are yet, but we're going to see the Fab Four 3.0 with Zara, Mike, William, and Kate. Here's what she writes about Prince Andrew. Family is always at the heart of the so-called season of goodwill, but the presence of the Duchess of York at the traditional Christmas royal walkabout was significant. It was, and it also took attention away from Prince Andrew. Quote, but the decision to follow her and the disgraced Duke to be a visible part of the festivities suggests that the 75 year old monarch is trying to foster a spirit of togetherness as we enter the new year. How lovely. This is why I say some in the British media are complicit in helping to rehab Prince Andrew's image just by not really reporting on him. Calling him disgraced is bare minimum. Is this fostering a family spirit or are we really doubling down on covering up for all of Andrew's misdeeds? Is Harry and Meghan stepping back from working royal life really worse than all of that? And if it is, it's telling. Let's jump over to the Daily Mail to see how they covered this. The headline reads, Prince Andrew is joined by Fergie at Royal Christmas Service at Sandringham for the first time in 30 years amid claims he's tormented by prospect of Epstein scandal reigniting. He's tormented? He's tormented? There's more language in there about putting on a united front. I really think a large part of having Fergie there was to take the attention off of Prince Andrew as a number of names related to the Jeffrey Epstein case are going to be released January 1st. Happy New Year. But if this is the way that they are going to cover Prince Andrew, no question or pushback as to why and what this says about what the British royal family prioritizes, that is not a healthy operating media system. That is an extension of British royal family PR.